All right, a lonely Romeo man finally found his Juliet, and Earth's magnetic pole is on the move. Yeah. Professor Stark wants to slap you with science. A little concerned about that uh, yeah, moving magnetic pole, to be yeah. quite honestly. Yeah. Earth's uh, uh, north, uh, northern magnetic pole is on the move, people. Researchers say it's moving away from the Canadian Arctic and heading towards Siberia. In fact, it's moved so much that the current representation of the entire globe's magnetic field, which was just updated in 2015, is now out of date. However, the updated map was supposed to be published on January 15th, but it's been delayed thanks to the government shutdown. That little magnetic field yeah. around the Earth is how we all survive. So let's really focus on yeah. why this thing's moving. All right, slap you with science. All right, spiders lack eardrums, but that doesn't stop them from hearing you. According to uh, neurobiologists, T nerve cells in tiny jumping spiders can pick up sounds from almost 10 feet away. But it doesn't end there. Scientists were surprised to find out that spiders can even pick up quiet sounds. So, yes, they can totally hear you coming, people. They know. And they can hear the sound of that rolled up newspaper. <laughs> you can slap the spider. I'm gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Nope, not gonna do it. Cosmic wide eyed frog that hasn't been posted in a decade has suddenly reappeared, and it could be a potential mate for a world's loneliest frog. The Sehueka water frog was spotted in a stream in Bolivia. A researcher named Teresa was hiking around a remote area when she found the little guy. Teresa, like Cher, it's just one name. Uh, she quickly snapped a picture and then sent it back to her lab. Romeo, known as the world's loneliest frog, has spent a decade in isolation, and they may have found him a Juliet. Researchers now working on a breeding program to reproduce the frogs to see how they will survive in the wild. That's right. If Romeo and Juliet can find each other in this crazy old world with a magnetic field moving, <laughs> all of us have hope. All of us have hope. There you go. You've been slapped with science. Oh, man. It's just a thin magnet that's, that stops all the bad things from getting to the ground. We kind of need it. It's very important. Yeah. Let's study this. All right, Courtney, over to you. Thank you, Cody Stark. Mm. Professor Stark.